All right, guys, I'm going to do a recap uh, because I did a really, really bad trade and I think it deserves uh, a recap. Uh, it's not that, you know, every day it's just amazing trading. Uh, Intel was a trade that uh, at the open we traded uh, Intel for a one minute open range breakout. The stock was gapping up for some news or something that had a high of, uh, we had this high of pre market um, at 66.75. You know, first minute really went up and then i saw it's good for opening range break up it was long at 67 popped up sold some and then it came down i got out of the break even and that is uh, that is really the way of the, that i'm doing uh, trade management after you scale out you never let the stock goes uh, against you always keep that profit in your pocket and then never let that do that so th that was a really good trade i mean i didn't make much money out of it it's just going 900 bucks here and then it sold off heavily. Brian wanted to take a reversal on it around this level at 66. He was unsuccessful and he got stopped out on it. I didn't take that reversal because I was thinking that maybe there is more on it. And then I saw that there is a level at 64.60. I decided to take the long 5,000 shares, popped up really nicely, sold, sold. And I thought maybe come go back to the next moving average. So I added a little bit more here. Uh, and uh, I was expecting to go up. It never came down. And this is the moment that I really should have stopped out. And this is the moment that I really should have stopped out. So, you know, I had already took profit. I added, so my average was somewhere around here. I should have stopped out with the loss or at least break even in there with a small loss, but I didn't. And that's the whole recap about that. I didn't, sold off more. Um, I added more. This is the starts the typical blowing up account. The stock goes against you. You start building this bias. Oh no no no! That's Intel. It's gonna go all time high. It's good. The CEO said that, and now if the fundamental and you know all of those nonsense story comes to your mind, and you know it never comes back. And as you see, it just kept selling off all the way up to the red. And I got to stop. I eventually got to stop that here. I'll say you know what, uh, I'm gonna get out of it. And as you see, it went even red. The stock was all time high. Now it's just red. So, you know, that's that's that happens. And I specifically wanted to do this stupid trade that I did in terms of money. It wasn't my worst trade. Uh, sorry, my worst loss. Actually, you know, if this is if I want to show you my worst loss, my worst loss was on TQQ today uh, for $40,000 loss. But I specifically wanted to show this uh, $3,700 loss because it was just absolutely nonsense trading that I did. So instead of getting out at the break even, and book you know a thousand dollar profit i just had to accept the thirty seven hundred dollar loss and i deserve to be you know blame on that and this one can keep going on and going on and that's how you usually blow up your account people a lot profit 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 and then boom this kind of uh, this kind of trends so specifically this one deserves uh, um, that <clears throat> yeah the biggest loss unfortunately for me was tqq i, I was just so sick of this tqq that i'm holding i added really heavy size and on the previous day close i thought maybe i get a bounce and then a huge sell-off and i said you know what i'm out of this mess i had twenty thousand shares and this is a really volatile stock so i got out of it with a heavy loss which i can digest it's okay um <clears throat> I, I got back in there for a quick scalp on it didn't work out i'm still holding a little bit of tqq just in case um, um you know i just want to be long queues because i think they are slowly recovering but i just don't want to be long twenty thousand shares of queues that's that's why I got I accepted this loss. If this one recovers, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so the other trade that I did, and which was really really nice, was APTO. That I'm actually really proud. APTO hit our scanner here, um, so uh, I just looked at it. Brian also took, took it a little bit earlier than me, so it was really running up from five to six. I went uh, long a small size, a thousand share here because I was expecting it to break toward the seven. On the pullback, when I saw that it's really not selling off, holding this moving average, I added more at 650, popped up uh, towards seven, and then I added more again at 690 for the break of seven, and I did it did break, and I sold some, uh, and I really wanted to get to this 724, never got that, so it came down, and I you know sold everything at the break even point, and again this was this was a really nice uh, you know trade management. You go, you take the profit. This was a good ad ad but you never because of this ad my my break even point came some somewhere around here and i still exactly i got at the break even point so this is this is very important i think we deserve the uh you know really really uh, recap it's just i don't want to be the person that i always show my best trades and say oh look at this one. no that uh, intel was just horrible and again got me on that um <clears throat> 
Yeah, it's not about money. It's about good trading. And money comes and goes, but it's just good trading is important. That's why we really want to, you know, emphasize on, on good trading. Yeah, I, I closed my down twenty nine thousand dollar because of this TQQ, but uh, it's just the, the whole thing is good trading. APTO, A plus. Intel, really bad trading. You know, shame, shame, uh, Andrew for uh, trading like that. Uh, in terms of community, guys, today is Wednesday. The town hall with Dr. Katz. Uh, is going to talk with a couple of traders about the type of mistakes that you do like today. You know, that, you know, instead of getting out, scaling down on, on, on a losing trade and make you the, you know, the loss bigger and bigger for yourself. So that's uh, something that you guys should uh, definitely come, including me. And uh, Brian, uh, Brian, is there anything from you? Um, no, I get, I get a bit of a You're short on Viacom. At the at the open, I am just long AMC right now. Just caught that little bit of a yeah, so the uh, bottom as you were talking. Here, huh? Yeah, so I'm hoping to get a big bit better of a move. And I, you know, and I did short some intel. I just used some. I sold some calls at 66 as we were dropping because I remembered before that uh, 66 was a was a resistance level on the daily. So when we lost that thought uh, it was probably a good place to take a uh, to sell some calls and I'll just collect the premium if they expire at the end of the week worthless which I'm expecting they will very nice so you were talking with Dr. Katz about your trading yesterday uh, uh, yesterday I think, I think Mike tonight. just said that yeah I think Dr. Katz wants to talk to you uh, you didn't know that <laughs> yeah so Mike and Brian yeah no I'm yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm on tonight with Dr. Katz and uh, and Mike. Perfect. And I'm not sure if anyone else is joining us. So okay. we'll be, uh, yeah. Perfect, guys. Thank you so much. Looking forward and, uh, to having that discussion. See you all. Uh, see you all. Um, so cues are bouncing back, bastards. All right, guys. So I'm going to hold some TQQ, 4,000 shares on TQQ. See if we can uh, get something tomorrow out of it. If not, uh, we'll see. Um, that was a bad uh, mess and yeah don't do what I did in Intel don't average down on a losing position all right guys have a good day and I'll see you tonight with Dr. Katz webinar Mike and Brian yeah that's, that's a good uh, chat yep.